The Zambezi River is the fourth largest river on the African continent. It drains over 1.3 million square kilometers and runs over 2,000 kilometers through Central Africa. From the city of Tet in central Mozambique, where Riversdale's mines are located, the Zambezi flows another 543 kilometers before emptying into the Indian Ocean at Chinde. Central Africa is a region of great mineral wealth and fertile lands. Riversdale's Benga coal deposits in the Mwatiz province near Tet are bisected by the Zambezi River. Here, the Zambezi provides a natural transport corridor for coal and other commodities. At Banga, the coal is mined and stockpiled at the mine site before delivery to the river. A covered conveyor will deliver the coal to a barge loading station a few kilometers away. A fleet of boats and barges will provide a continuous delivery system for the coal. Upon arrival of the empty barges at Banga, the line haul boat will place them into an empty barge fleet immediately upriver of the coal landing spout. There, the barges are loaded one by one as they are winched down under the spout. Between 2,000 and 3,000 tons will be loaded into each barge in about 90 minutes. After loading, the barge covers are spread over the coal and the loaded barge is shifted by the harbour tug to the loaded barge fleet, located just below the coal dock. There, the loaded barges are wired together into an eight-barge convoy arranged two wide by four long for the 540km downriver trip. The line haul boat makes up to the loaded convoy using heavy steel cables and winches and departs for Chinde. Each boat will have multiple engines and wheels with enough horsepower to safely maneuver the convoy of barges downriver. The line haul boats will operate 24 hours a day using the best navigating equipment and electronic charts to help the captain steer his tow. A crew of 15 will live aboard the boat, providing good jobs and experience for Mozambicans. But at the city of Dona Ana, the Sena Railroad Bridge, built in the 1930s, provides a challenge for the tows. Although the bridge piers are 70 meters apart and the convoy is only 35 meters wide, the safest operations may require the captain to fraction his tow to get through. In the process of fractioning, the captain will tie off his tow at an anchor in the middle of the stream below the small island. There he will break the tow apart into units of two barges each. With his tow now lighter and narrower, he can shuttle the barges below the bridge and reassemble the convoy downstream. In special cases where the water levels may be very high, such as after a flood, the line haul boat can lower its pilot house and pass safely under the bridge. After four trips of two barges each, the convoy is completely through the bridge. After rewiring his tow and making up to the stern, the convoy is ready to depart downriver for Chinde. When the barges arrive at the end of their river journey at the mouth of the Zambezi, they will be tied off to a set of piers on the north side of the river bank across from Chinde. Since a line haul boats are very shallow draft vessels, they cannot operate in the ocean. So, at Chinde, they will take on any needed fuel and provisions before departing upriver. A tow of eight empty barges will be waiting for him at the empty barge fleeting area. When ready to depart, the captain will make up to his empty tow and push away for the return trip to Benga. At Chinde, the ocean operation takes over. Here, the barges are separated into separate units and they are towed 
instead of pushed. The ocean shuttle tugs will attach towing wires to the loaded barges and pull them to the transloading site in a continuous cycle. The deep water anchorage is about 15 kilometers offshore and can be reached safely in about 90 minutes. At the transloading site, the shuttle tugs will berth their barges against the lee side of the transloader, away from the oncoming swells. The transloader will be able to berth four barges at a time, two abreast, four and aft. There, the transloader's four cranes will offload the barges into its storage holds. 70,000 tons, or about 25 to 30 barges of coal, can be stored this way. Each barge will be cleaned with the help of a small front-end loader, ensuring that as much coal as possible is transferred. When each barge is empty, the covers are closed and the shuttle tugs return with their empties to the fleet at Chinde. In this manner, multiple shuttle tugs can keep the transloader filled while it waits for the arrival of the ocean vessel. When the ocean vessel arrives, it will berth on the opposite side of the transloader from the barges. The shuttle tugs will assist the ocean vessel alongside the transloader. Once secured, special shiploading cranes and conveyors will transfer the coal from the transloader storage to the ocean vessel. And if loaded barges are at the transloader while a ship is there, they can be discharged directly into the ship. In this way, a ship can be loaded in three days. The ship now loaded, can depart for its destination and the refilling of the transloader begins again. In this way, multiple river boats, shuttle tugs and a fleet of barges can work together to keep the flow of coal moving from Benga to Riversdale's customers.